Brian Nehawk here. I am just here to sh give you a quick five minute tutorial on how we make our parts in Aspire and then import them into SheetCam. Uh, this piece here is a, the, a, bra a part of a bracket. Uh, wires will pass through here and this will get bolted onto the post of the sign. Uh, and that's what holds the sign up. So uh, we make all of our parts pretty much on the plasma table. So uh, unless, unless of course, maybe there's some funky shape or something like that, but yeah, for the most part, it's done on the plasma table. Um, or if it's wood or any other thing I'm supposed to, right? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, let's get rolling. Five minutes, start the clock. I'm gonna start by opening up Aspire 10 and uh, create a new file. And it doesn't really matter what the job size is or anything like that, so we're just going to click OK. In, in this case, it doesn't matter what the job size is because we're just using it for the DXF. All right, so we're going to draw a rectangle, and I know that this thing is it is two and a half inches wide, and it is five inches tall. Create um, Our anchor point is going to be zero, 0, just for terms of making this uh, file. It makes it a little bit easier, um, and you'll see why in a second. Radius external at quarter inch. Create. There it is. All right. So center mouse button helps move this. And I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Now I'm going to make one that is one inch wide, two inches tall, and I'm going to keep the same radius external. Create. I'm going to close it. Here's our second one. I'm going to click on this, and then now I'm also going to click on the larger square rectangle. Sorry. And I'm going to click center. Now we're in the center. Now I'm going to take and draw a one half inch circle. And the center point, of, uh, I'm going to I'm going to have it three quarters of an inch down from the top, three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. Um, if it's five inches tall, we're going to go three quarters of an inch down, which brings us at four and a quarter. And one and a quarter inches in is is where the um, center point is of this piece. Uh, so that's two and a half divided by two. And now we're going to go 0.75. Create. That is it. That's how fast that is. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to export this. We're going to go to File. So we're going to highlight all the vectors first. I'm going to go to File. Export DXF. And I'm going to save it as bracket. Actually, there we go. So bracket.dxf. And I've already saved this one, so we're going to do it again. Okay, now we're going to open up SheCam. All right, we're going to go to File, Import Drawing. We're going to open Bracket. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, pretty much keep this information the same all the time. Uh, drawing position is going to zero, 0 is going to be in the bottom left-hand corner. I use inches. Um, if you were doing something else, or if you were doing something that might be metric, then you could do metric, or it depends on what you're doing. This is pretty easy here, too. Um, <clears throat> I'm cutting this piece out of 10-gauge uh, ten, uh, ten steel, um, so I'll just go through the settings real quick. So we're going to use 45 amp. This is our tool down here. Um, I'm going to use 45 amp uh, plasma tips. And these are pretty much straight book settings, right out of the hypertherm, uh, right out of the hypertherm uh, manual. So 100 inches per minute, uh, pierce delay four seconds, pierce height 50, uh, 0.15 inches, um, plunge rate. I don't know if that's in the book or not, but uh, cut height is the same again uh, across all of the um, all of the torch configurations. Um, preset current 45 amps, air pressure 75. Uh, volts sometimes changes. That's one of the few things that I change sometimes. Same with the torch, uh, the torch height control settings. Um, this could be good uh, if you experience it diving. You can make that a little bit bigger. Tip size 45 amps, and we are using torch height control to make sure that uh, the torch is at the perfect height to get our best cut. Click OK. So operation plasma cut. We're doing outside offset on layer one, um, and we're gonna this. We have to make sure we select our proper tool, which is the 45 amp 10 gauge tool. Uh, 
45 amp 10 gauge steel worth cutting at 100 inches per minute uh, here's our outside offset down here so it's cutting on the outside this is our part um, we are using a lead-in of a quarter inch which means it's going to come in from the side and it gives us a better cut um, when I made these I didn't have a lead out I probably should have you could actually click that if you want to um, it doesn't really this is a pretty minor part um, it's on the outside edges it's the of the sign bracket so click OK there we go uh, lead in so we're gonna start it's gonna come in cut this out it's gonna come cut this out it's gonna cut this out and then it's gonna go around to the perimeter then we're gonna click this button right here which is run the post processor we're gonna save it as bracket G code save bracket already exists well we're gonna save over it and we are done post processing completed if there's an error it would be written up here somewhere probably and that's it we can take that and run it right to the machine